here it is, boys and girls. Look at the size of this red. All right, guys, check this thing out. So we now have the first ever roll-off multi-state container with a front 70-inch platform. And sorry about the noise, it's loud. It's a real company. A secret gate here to put the top dressers on over here. Massive can here. 52 inch side door, has a post up top right there to protect the gates when you're loading it. If the loader hits the gate because it sticks out above the top of the roof, that will protect the gate for you. So let me show you the roll off here. So this is where the rollers connect, hook the cable here. This thing's gonna live on top, on top of a uh, massive Mack truck down in Texas. The amazing, amazing piece. That drop down leg. Those are drop down legs right there. They're actually inside this tube. When this thing goes up, the legs come down, get it out of the way. Got a drop down gate here. This guy actually folds down out of the way. So you can load this. And then when you do that, this ladder actually falls out. So you can, you can climb up into this, even though it's really high off the ground. You got a safety handle here to grip onto. You got steps, tie downs for tarps. Be able to get right up inside of this can here. Be able to knock out those big top dressing jobs with a roll off now. Never been done before. First of its kind. Absolutely amazing. It is built like a tank. I mean, it's amazing. Look at all the hardware these boys use here. This thing is absolutely a monster. Look at these legs. So not only are they massive beams, I think they're six by four. They also have a four by three support. And then they've got gussets up inside right there. See that? All the way down. Look at the beams in this thing. They're massive. You can see it here. That's the step from Ultimate down there. See it right here? See that? And then if you can't reach that, you got the one on the other side. Let me tell you, this thing is unbelievable. So first of its kind, first roll off Multimate ever made, a roll off can for Multimate ever made. And this one's gonna be fire engine red. We'll show you here in the next clip. I just wanna show it to you in bare metal. I'm here to inspect this rig to make sure all the details are perfect. So before they paint this thing, they can make any kind of fine uh, adjustments, changes. And I found a couple, kind of how it goes while I'm here. Just check this thing out at MultimateUSA.com. We're gonna get this thing up on the website soon so you guys can see it and we can build one for you. So subscribe, like, and leave us a comment on what you think of this deal here. All right, boys, I have something amazing to show you. Check this thing out. Look at that. That is a roll-off can with a platform on the front, with a mulch mate on the back. We've got massive, I think those are 10 or 11 inch, I think they're 10 inch, uh, beams that go across. They're two, it's, it's rectangle tube, and then one long six inch beam going all the way down the side there. Get your drop down legs down here. Check these things out live right here. Look at the size of all this beautiful niceness down here. It is absolutely massive. Got massive plates here to reinforce the rear posts. You got the, the uh, I don't know what those are. Those are like the tarp rods where you tie tarping down to it. You see this says UHMW in here because it got all the bolts in. I'll show you that in a second. Give a handle. So this is actually kind of cool. I've never seen this done before, but we did it first, I think. This whole entire piece here folds down it's like a BMT. And excuse the noise, the boys are working here. It's an actual real shop. We actually build lots of real stuff. But this ladder slides, in this case it slides up because it'll be down. And then this turns into a step. You see we've got anti-skid material here. And another one here so you don't slip and there's actually some right there which is really nice and so that step allows you to just drop this down grab this handle and then climb onto this rig because right now this unit is about three foot off the ground here to the ground you can kind of see it's at my pocket and then once this thing's on the truck this bottom edge is probably going to be about here it's about four and a half feet off the ground so this whole unit it's going to be so high. I reach eight feet, and that's it. That's eight feet. All right. So check out the platform here. This thing is massive. And excuse me for being so close to everything. It is a shop, and everything is tight. So really cool, awesome drop-down legs at the handle. Pull those up, pin them out of place. You get your tie-down D-rings here, so you can bolt things down or, or strap it down. Excuse me to the platform. When you get up this ladder here, I was showing you earlier. You can get on the platform and you got another ladder there, right there, and then that just pops you right up inside the, uh, the container if you need to get in and out of it. If it's full and you can't open it up, here's your hook. 
I don't even know what that is. That's got to be inch and a half steel, maybe. Yeah, it's got to be inch and a half. This plate here is probably inch thick, incredibly massive. Same thing here, massive rollers, right? You got everything welded in really, really nice. You got your grease fittings inside there. It is, sorry, I had to deny somebody there. Massive beam here to support everything. You got your cross bracing here to support everything, just like the back. You see your adjustable holes there. So what we're doing right now is we're actually gonna test this winch system here. The gate is so big that even with the springs, there's four of them here, one, two, three, four, grill lift system and that double barrel system, it is not enough to lift this whole thing. Now it's lifting it right now, right? But the problem is, is that as it gets higher and higher and higher and higher, these start to not work as well. So we're gonna automate it. We're gonna throw in a winch. It's gonna mount it up top here. The cable's gonna come right down here, all the way down to the bottom and mount down there. So that'll be awesome. Oh, by the way, you can see the side door right there. Really nice setup here. This gap, don't mind the gap. This is gonna get filled with a panel. So you don't have to worry about feet falling there. It'll sit kind of in here, maybe a section from here to here, and then same with bolts. So when it folds up, it's gonna clear everything you see here. So real, real nice system. You got, uh, let me step up here for a second. Let me see if I can get up here. Here we go. Up here, this post, everybody's like, what in the world is that post? So when this gate comes up, this is the highest point down here. It's gonna sit flush and level to the top of this guy all the way across. And why that's important is this thing is so big, the only thing that's gonna be able to load something like this is not gonna be a skid steer, it's gonna be like a loader. So when it comes to the loader loading this thing up, we, if, if the bucket were to hit this gate, it's over, it's game over. It's going to tear it up. That loader is far bigger. Even though the gussets we have down here, I mean, they're huge. My hands are massive and that's gotta be half inch steel. Half inch steel. But what this post is meant to do is it's meant to protect this gate. So you hit this instead of hitting the gate. And we're actually gonna add yellow and black tape around this thing to make it really stick out like a sore thumb and get a lot of attention. So we want the can to take the hit, not the gate. Okay, so you can see down in here, got all the UHMW. See it all down in here, looking good, bolted in. Got it on the side door, got it shingled like it's supposed to be. One long piece all the way across there, as well as the steps, see the stairs right there? So that allows you to climb up here, get onto that step, so step there, step there, in you go. And then you got a, a, the ability to climb down inside the can through those steps there, of course. You got the amazing mulch mate hanging off the back. You got, there's more DMT rigs in the back there getting uh, getting built. All the black panels you see back there, all that is mulch mate components. So when it comes to this rig here, this is the biggest, baddest setup we've ever built. Um, it's the very first one, so it's not going to be perfect. It's going to have little nuances here and there. Um, so we're trying to work through all that right now. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I mean, just, it's absolutely massive. I mean, we even spec'd out the nice big thick diamond plate there. It's all back in here. Got the little hooks here for a tarping system. The customer didn't want to tarp on this because their truck allegedly is going to have an automated tarp system that can cover this whole, this whole deal here. Um, so again, we're gonna pull these off here. Pull that yellow guy off there and add the winch. Oh, there's the remote right there. And this thing, so just so you understand, this is all two by two square tube. I wear a size 15 shoe, 15. That's a big foot. Look how small my feet look in this video. I mean, that, that ramp is massive. It's 78 inches wide. It comes all the way down here. And we're gonna add rollers down here. So when you hit the winch up here to start pull this gate up, I don't know if you can see, like watch, it'll move, right? So when it moves, it's actually gonna roll across the ground and then start to lift up off the ground, which is gonna be wonderful. This is gonna be a really nice setup. And I think uh, the home that this is already going to, it's been paid for, everything's good to go, is out in Amarillo, Texas. So really, really, really nice unit. I mean, look at the size of the springs in there. That's huge. My hand, that's about 10 inches right there, nine, 10 inches there. That is massive. All right, there you go. There's your side door, your latching mechanism again. Just a really big, big setup here. Uh, got all the bracketry in place with the chains, the bars, the supports. Of course, mulch made on the back. I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to portray how massive this thing is. I mean, I'm going to stand here next to it. Watch this. I'm, 
I'm 6'3". Okay. So that's, that's basically, whatever, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, off the ground. We'll try to back up here. Get a look at that. That, that point right there is 6'3", six, 6'4", six, off the ground. And that's on the ground. This thing is going to go from here to, like, here. I mean, it's just... That is why the ramp is so big, is because when this is up on a truck, that whole ramp's gotta work. Um, we're just trying to make it as easy as possible. So, um, an absolute game-changing piece of equipment, game-changing container. Um, never done a roll-off style before, ever. This is, <laughs> when the customer came to us with this idea, I was like, Ryan, brother, you sure you're not smoking crack, buddy? Because uh, it's kind of big. And he's like, I love the idea, let's do it. I'm like, okay, I'm the guy for it, so. All the guys here at Belmont have been helping us out. We actually had this built elsewhere. Uh, Belmont was too busy to build this, but they're helping us put together the little last minute details and painting of the color. Um, the other vendor did not want to do that. Look, you see all the all the different trailers out here that they build. Absolutely fantastic facility. The people work here are just wonderful. Um, but uh, yeah, this thing is just, it's it's a tank. So let's here, let's watch, watch as I walk by this thing, how much bigger it is than me. That, that's big. Jeez. You can see underneath here. Look at the size of all that. So, so big. I mean, it is just, I, I can't even fathom how big all this is. I mean, it is, it is ridiculous. While I got you here real quick, check this out. This is a DMT container all painted, just came out of paint, so I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna stay away from it. But as you can see how beautiful that thing looks, I don't know who that's going to. Doesn't say, I don't know how to read there. Those are called travelers, I don't know how to read those. So that's a frame to a DMT all painted up. So it's got backup lights in it. It's got no timberins. These look like the smaller axles. So this is a very base model rig here. So I'm sure like that container is probably gonna go on here. Is there another chassis? I bet you it's coming out of paint here in a second. I'll show you some more stuff here in a second. But you can see here how nice this thing is. Absolutely beautiful. There's your frame. Yes, those are, look at the wagon wheels. Everybody said, Nick, what do you mean? They have wagon wheels. They literally paint them with wagon wheels on them. It's hysterical. But you can see how robust this system really truly is. Uh, this one has the hydraulic jack. Good move, whoever ordered that. Beautiful, beautiful rig. Very, very nice setup. See the other side of the can, it's awesome. So let's go check out some of the, let's go check out some of the uh, small components so you can see what they all look like. So I'm going to show you this real quick and then I'm going to jump off this deal and get back to work. So all this is, this is all DMT related, DMT related, not DMT related, DMT related, all that, our boxes, our lids, that's not ours, these are all ours here, those are some of the rams, the springs, more weights, this is grids here. Matter of fact, that actually, this is something nobody really knows about. These are weights to keep the trailer nice and balanced. Here's a rail for a smaller platform. You got the ramps for the smaller platforms, more fenders. It's game changer, guys. We built some really nice stuff here with these Belmont boys in conjunction with Mall's Made of Course. So thanks for joining us. Subscribe if you love it. And like, like the video if it's been a good video for you and more info for you. Here it is, boys and girls. Look at the size of this red. I don't even know what to call this thing, it's a roll-off. So, uh, RMC, roll-off mate container. I don't know, but it's huge. Look at this thing. So, of course you got the mulch mate on the back. Look at this gate. So we're not quite done yet, like literally one more day. I reach eight feet. I can't touch it. It's too big. Latch, gate. So what we're doing is we're putting on a winch system up here, which is going to then let the gate down via this little remote here. Just really, really cool. Stealing power from the mulch mate. And, and uh, for the moment, we're using that battery. Massive platform here, you're gonna be able to keep two of the top dresses on there. Of course, you get the whole mulch mate container back there. It's lifted up with that big beam there. Up in the air, get your legs, front and back. So the reason it's higher like this is so you get top dress underneath there. So the floor of this rig here is like, take for instance, this, this uh, foundation there is gonna be probably here. I, I couldn't tell you quite. The bottom of the truck's about here. And then that brings all this up many, many inches or feet. 
Uh, it's gonna be the biggest rig we've ever produced. Um, I wanna show this to you really, really quick. It is incredible. I hope you love it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Let us know what you think of this rig. Sorry the sun's in your eyes. And I gotta get going. But there she is, boys. Look at the size of this rig. This is the container, roll-off container of all roll-off containers. I, I, I gotta tell you, it is the biggest, baddest thing I have ever seen, period. I mean, look, we got a winch here. Help lower down this gate, because this thing is massive. I mean, my hands, so my hands, if I go like this, that's 10 inches. It's, it's yes, I have large hands. These are two inch by two inch tube square, and you can see how many there are massive gate it's i want to say from the bottom down here to the very top i think that's 69 inches that's what she said and there's two of them and then you have a, a stop plate here so when you go to lift this thing up into place it has a bump stop here and then a mechanical locks it see how that doesn't move that's because i've got tension on it here so if you see loosen it up here i'm just loosening that guy up i'm just doing it down here so I just put a little tension on the winch and that keeps this whole thing nice and tight. Got both these pins here to latch that out of place. This whole wire system is long enough to stretch out because the gate's gonna be like way back here. I'll kind of give you a different angle here. So that whole gate will drop all the way down back to that fence, it's, it's big. And that's because this guy here is gonna live up on a truck, way up near, probably another two feet up. So you need a, a lot of ramp to be able to get equipment up there properly. And so this is this is the way to do it. This is just, it's just an absolute beast of you. Let's open this guy up real quick. So there you go. See inside here, you got all the UHMW. There's a step there to get in and out of. So if you're in here and you need to get out, and this door is gonna be really high off the ground. So there's a step here. <laughs> So that step looks, you know, nice and low there, but when it's, you know, two or three, four feet, whatever it's going to be higher, you're not going to get to this guy. And there's no real way to jump up in here. It's going to be difficult. So you get on that ladder there and then you go around here. to this ladder here. So what you do is you actually fold this guy down. Here, let's do it real quick. Okay, so imagine this thing being a lot higher off the ground. Then you step on here, and you step on here, and you got a handle right here to grab, right? And you got another step here. So now you step one foot here, and then next foot there, and then now I can climb into these steps here. You can see I can fold my leg around here. And now I just climbed in nice and easy, easy peasy. When I'm gonna leave, step on here. You can see my foot's down here, step around, and now you're out. So, funny little gymnastic thing there, but this platform is unbelievable. Huge, gonna be able to keep two top dresses up here. It's 78 inches wide, massive, you get your D-rings down there, one over here, same thing over there. She's a beast. She is a beast. So, got the mulch main on the back, of course, to open the clothes just like any other mulch main does. You can see the business in there. It is. It's a beaut. So the mulch will just slide, or the compost in this case, slide right in there, exit out of the pasture side, right in the top dressers that are gonna be transported here and knock out those jobs extremely quickly. The problem is, mulch main runs so fast, and then you're going through, they, I'll give you for instance, there's a guy down in Florida and he needs a parts for his mulch mate and he's not able to use it <laughs> right now. And hence equipment that happens. And uh, he's only doing two jobs a day right now or normally he does eight a day. And he's like, it's killing me, give me the parts. So we overnight the parts and he'll have them very, very soon. But it just kind of proves how valuable mulch mate is. You go from doing eight jobs a day, you lose the mulch mate, now you're doing two and you're killing yourself. So that's the value of mulch mate. That's a kind of a, a funny way of getting a testimonial, but I think it's kind of funny, but uh, it, it's amazing what the mulch mate can do. Anyway, let's give you one last real quick, go around this guy here, and we hope you love this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video if you thought you enjoyed it, leave us a comment, tell me what color you want it to be. This is like fire engine red, it's kind of cool. Um, you want green next time, or black, white, I love white, like that. 
So I think this would wipe crazy. But you never know. And then there, of course, we got our DMT trailer right there. Look at that orange. That orange would be kind of cool. What do you think? I like that orange. I'm an orange kind of guy or a white kind of guy. But this is cool. I'm glad it's red, not black. Um, the blacks, eh, it's been done a million times since the trailer. But it's cool. I think I think I would love to see this white or orange. I mean, uh, maybe next time. Anyway, guys, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you in the next one.